It's gonna be a bit of a different video today. Um, we're gonna be taking a look at my desk setup. So I'm gonna turn this camera around and let's walk through it. All right, so let's talk about the desk build. It's actually two different components together. Uh, the first is the top section, which is a pretty nice Ikea slab. Uh, the bottom is gonna be a raising desk stand that I purchased on Amazon. Also on the desk, there is four buttons, but I only use three of them. I use one if I wanna stand at the desk or use it with my walking pad, which you guys will see later. Two is for sitting, and then three is for YouTube videos. And then on the right side of the desk, I actually have a cup holder attached to it. To put my Stanley in there. I drink quite a bit of water every single day and it's pretty convenient. And while empty now, I also typically have a coaster with a glass full of electrolytes. I usually drink one or two electrolyte packets a day. To the left side of the desk, I usually keep three notebooks and a loose piece of paper. Their notebooks deal with YouTube videos, a daily journal, as well as tasks that I want to accomplish each day. I'll also typically have a stack of cards that I'm organizing on the desk. My other YouTube channel is Card Focus, and it's been a hobby that I've had since I've been a kid. And then if you guys hear some random noises occasionally in the coding videos, well, that is my dog who is always next to my side during the work days. And uh, yeah, kind of curious what I'm doing right now. Now let's talk about lighting. I have two different light sources directly above my desk. Uh, both are angled towards me on each side. I do want to get a third light eventually, and that's going to be a vertical light uh, just straight ahead. I think that is missing from the videos, um, but I haven't really decided what I want to use there. The other light source that I have in the room is going to be my Govi. You'll see that in the background of the videos. It's pretty easy to control it and literally use it with Bluetooth on my phone. But sometimes I'll also have this on even when I'm not recording videos. Just as important as the lighting is going to be this blackout curtain. When you record videos, you don't want to have external light sources impact your lighting. And uh, this does a really good job of blocking out light. And then behind the desk, as well as the lights, I have these foam noise insulation panels. Now, I really don't know how well these work, but I do think it adds a nice little aesthetic to the room itself. And if it improves even just a little bit, I think it's worth it. A few other items I keep on my desk. First, a phone stand. Uh, that way I can keep my phone away from me and it saves up a little bit of space. Then I have a hat, um, which could vary day to day. And then also my blue light glasses, which I like to wear if I'm gonna be on the computer for longer than a few hours. I also have two laptops on the desk as well as a laptop stand. The first is gonna be an HP Victus, which is my personal computer. I typically use it for some video editing or Photoshop work. Then I have a MacBook, which is gonna be my work computer. And then lastly, I have a laptop stand. I think this thing really comes in clutch. It stops me from looking down at a laptop all day. And then I'll often bring it if I have to travel into the office. Now I'm not the biggest fan of using laptops, so I have this KVM switch. I can either plug in the MacBook or my personal laptop and use the same peripherals as well as the desktop monitors. And then I also have an audio interface so that way my microphone can connect directly into my computer. Uh, microphone wise, I use an Audio Technica. I can't tell you the exact thing. I paid like maybe a hundred bucks for it a few years ago. And then for recording videos, I use this Elgato face cam. I know they came out with a 4K version. I bought this like directly before then. It is an expensive webcam, but I think it's worth it. And then the chair that I use for the room is this GT Racing. Um, I've had it almost 10 years now, but it is kind of junky at this point. You know, one of the arms is missing, but it kind of makes it easier for me to play the guitar. And it does sync over time but I promise you I'm not that fat. So next few things are gonna be fitness related. The first is gonna be a pair of retired running shoes and then also a walking pad. So while I do enjoy running quite a bit, I still wanna walk a little bit every day if I can. And during work calls, it's a perfect excuse to get a few miles in. So I'll load up the treadmill anywhere from three to four miles an hour and then walk. Up. And it's pretty easy to walk while talking because I used to be able to run and talk uh, back when I was in college. I also have a stretching section, which includes a yoga mat, a block, and then a stretching band. I don't stretch as much as I really should, maybe twice a week, but that is there to tell me, hey, I need to stretch. And then lastly, I also have a Theragun. My muscles do get pretty tight time to time because I lift weights and run. So it's kind of convenient to have it right next to the desk and then massage as needed. I also keep a whiteboard in the room that's dual sided. One is gonna be more focused on fitness and then the other side is going to be focused on video production. And to round out the video, I have two guitars in the background. Uh, the first is a Baton Rouge acoustic, which I literally use every single day. I don't know, 
playing the guitar is calming for me. And then I also have an SG, which I had as a kid, although I don't really play the electric guitar anymore. Thanks guys for checking out this video. Let me know what you think of my desk setup. And I do plan on making other videos like this on the channel, not just coding videos every single week, trying to expand out the library. Anyways, see you guys in another video.